Why we lit? Fuck y'all niggas thought it was over? Niggas thought I was gone, man? Fuck is you geeking for? I told niggas, what I tell niggas, bro? I told niggas I'm on a mission to get banned, you heard me? Look, in a quick PSA to all you niggas that got something to say about these banned videos. If, if you niggas ain't gonna flag my videos that help get me banned, shut up, okay? Shut up, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I told you all my words got squatter rights, bro. You niggas are free bagels. You niggas don't stand for nothing. You hear me? Fuck out of here. And I'm about to take my shit to Facebook anyway. I'm gonna keep it a bang with you, bro. I'm ready to take my shit to Facebook. That's where you really get banned at. Them, them white folks don't play that shit over there. I done been, bro, I, I, I done been kicked off of Facebook a few times for shit way lighter than this. I'm about to take, bro, I'm about to take my talents to South Beach, bro. Fuck is you geeking for, man? But nonetheless, let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth reside here. All my words got squatter rights. All right? So, I want to point out some never-ending cycles, bro. Like, real shit. You're going to talk about some never-ending cycles in the so-called black community. Right? Now... Because niggas always ask me this. Why you say so-called black community? Why is it so-called this? So-called that? I say so-called because niggas isn't really black. We're not really black. Like, my shirt is black. You feel me? My pants is black. Niggas is brown. Like, but they told us we was black and niggas just, yeah, I mean, just wrote anything. But anyways, anyways, right? So check this out. Because I'm going to make niggas think. You feel me? I'm only here to make niggas think, bro. Real shit. I'm only here to make niggas think. You feel me? And get banned. All right. Check this out, bro. In a black community, right? In a so-called black community, why is it? Why is it you can have females, right? So-called black women with five baby fathers, bro. Five baby fathers and a boyfriend. Let that settle for a second. You heard me? Let that settle for a second. In a black community, we got bitches with five baby fathers. And a boyfriend or or four baby fathers and a husband. I'm gonna break it down. You feel me? I'm gonna break it down and make it make sense. I'm gonna explain why these are one of those cycles that will never end. It's a never ending cycle. Feel me? Check this out. So let's say you got a female, right? You got a, a, a young female, she's probably about 19, 19, 20 years old. She meet a guy. She meet a guy, right? Now this guy, they, this, she with this guy, they start dating or whatever, bit, 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 bop, they together for a few years, and she get pregnant, right? Now, everything was cool, everything was good, they was together, you feel me, they loved each other, they did everything for each other, you, you get what I'm saying, like, they lived together, nigga, they, they, they shared whatever they had, like, they was together, nigga, they had a baby, and then whatever happened, happened, and whoever left the situation, left the situation, they broke up, right, so now they no longer together, but... This is baby father number one, right? This is this is this is baby father number one. Boom. She move on to the next nigga, right? Now she think this next nigga the one. She think this next nigga the one. She done put she done put she done put she done put a uh, 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 Tom Tom on child support. You feel me? The nigga barely see his son because they beefing. She don't like the fact that he got another girl. He don't like the fact that she got another nigga. But boom. So she think this next nigga the one. You, you feel me? She think Shorty the one. Uh, 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 fucking Tavon. She think Tavon the one. Right? So they, they yell for a couple years. Bip, bip, bop. They doing good. They, 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 nigga, they engaged and all that. They think they about to get married and shit. Bip, bip, bop. Right? Then she get pregnant by this nigga. She get pregnant by this nigga. And for whatever reason, they break up. They break up. Now she got two baby daddies. Now she got two baby fathers. Right? Boom. All right. Whatever, she chill out for a couple minutes, she get on her little whole face, fuck this nigga, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, whatever, she ready to settle down again. She meet another nigga. Now, she got two baby fathers. She got two baby fathers by now, right? At this time, she got two baby fathers, all right? So, boom. So, now that she with this other nigga, that's her boyfriend, she posting them on Instagram, on Facebook, Snapchat, they all boo-loving and loved up and lubby-dubby and you know all the stupid shit they do on, on social media. So, boom. So, now, she with, she with her new boyfriend, right? They get the fuck and she get pregnant again. She get pregnant again. She get pregnant again. Right? And now these niggas start beefing. They talking about each other on social media or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. So now she got three baby daddies, right? 
She meet another nigga. She meet another nigga. That's her boyfriend. She think he the one now. Right? And she get pregnant by him and leave him. Now she got four baby daddies. Now she got four baby daddies and she just met a new nigga at the club. She just met a new nigga at the club. Right? She met a nigga in a work program in social service. So she bounced between these two niggas. Right? And she get pregnant. With her fifth child, and she don't fucking know who the baby daddy is, cause she was fucking two niggas. So now she got five baby daddies in a possible, right? She got five baby daddies in a possible, right? And a boyfriend. So it's a it's a never ending cycle. By that time, bitches be getting their uterus removed. Bitches be on birth control. Bitches be just like I'm making sure niggas is pulling out, right? Some bitches turn gay. Now they got girlfriends and shit. It's just like, but you stuck with five baby fathers, and you got a a a, a boyfriend or some other significant other, right? Then when you question about it, it's like. I'm not the problem. How are you not the problem? You have five baby fathers. The fuck is you thinking for? You have five baby fathers and a boyfriend. It's no way in the world a woman should have five baby fathers and a boyfriend. You telling me you couldn't make it work? You couldn't make it work with none of them niggas? All them niggas was the problem? Every last one of them niggas was the problem. You got five fucking baby daddies. You, you should not have five baby daddies and a boyfriend. You need to make it work with one of them niggas you got pregnant by. I don't give a fuck if it's number one, uh, number three, number four. Nigga, pick, nigga. I'm pick. You better pick names out of hat. You better do something. You better, you better make it work with one of them niggas. You got children by them. Your boyfriend, you ain't got no kids by him. You can't even get pregnant anymore. But you got a nerve to have five baby daddies and a boy. Get the fuck out of here. But my point is this, bro. That's just an example of never and then sight. That we see in a so-called black community, bro Just an example Right? I'll give you another one Because people always try to criticize me Niggas be trying to criticize me For pointing this out, bro I'm sorry I'm going to keep it a bang with you I'm not saying I'm not saying that Because the Bible says If a man don't work, you don't eat So I'm not Shaming niggas who got nine to fives. I'm not saying you ain't supposed to work. I'm not saying be a bum. I'm not saying live off the government. I'm not saying any goofy shit like that. Uh, what I'm saying is this, bro. That shit ain't designed for everybody, bro. Because it's it's like it's, it puts you in a maze, bro. It's like it like it is like you get you get sucked into this hamster wheel, bro. Okay, you get a job, right? You get a job, work a nine to five. Getting paid minimum wage. Right? You got a phone bill. You got rent. You might got a car note. You got a woman to take care. You got two or three kids to take care. You got yourself to take care of. Right? You got other essentials and necessities that you got to pay for. Right? You got other shit that you're trying to invest into because you want to become an entrepreneur. So you might have spent, you know, X amount, X amount of dollars on studio equipment. You feel me? Or you might have spent money on trying to get your LLCs or whatever. Bro, that shit is not enough money to survive, bro. Unless you getting paid like fucking $30, $25, $30 an hour, bro. If you got a whole family and a woman to take care of, that shit ain't going to work, bro. But it puts you in this never ending cycle because for whatever reason, you feel like you're not making enough money there and you're, you're stuck. So you got to go to another job and then you go get another nine to five and it's the same thing. You might make a dollar or two more, but it's the same thing. It's the same fucking cycle. And then you never make it over the threshold. You never make it over the threshold. You're just barely making it you're not even living you're surviving that's what people don't understand bro it's a difference it's a difference between surviving and living bro niggas who got bread right niggas who are more fortunate than the rest of the world them niggas live life bro them niggas know what it feels like to travel them niggas don't know them niggas don't know how it feels to to to, to have their children growing up in the projects you feel me? And not having enough money to 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 uh to 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 to, to, to get your, your all your kids the shoes that they that they possibly wanted for back to school and you you get what I'm saying or or to go get your your daughter the new iPhone. 
You feel me? And it's like you be wanting to do this shit and you feel bad when you can't, but that's just the cycle you in. And then on top of that, let's keep it a fucking bean. See, a lot of people don't even really be thinking like why they even let niggas go. fuck Abraham Lincoln, bro. Fuck Abraham Lincoln, bro. You niggas be thinking like Abraham Lincoln is somebody special because he freed the slaves, emancipation, proclamation, and gossamation, intoxication, and all this goofy shit. Fuck Abraham Lincoln. Fuck him freeing the slaves. Fuck emancipation, proclamation, and all that goofy shit, bro. Do you know why they really free niggas, bro? Because they know niggas can help the economy. They know they can gain more from you niggas being free than being slaves. Right? They know that. These niggas is smart. But check this out. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you another never-ending cycle, right? Watch this. If you got some sense, it's gonna blow your mind. If you just a goofy nigga, it's just it's gonna go over your head. You don't stand for nothing anyway. It is what it is. Bro, you're giving all the money back to them. The money, listen, bro, is one big fucking system. America is a corporation, bro, it's a business. Okay? I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if the United States of America got an LLC. America is one big ass business. Every state, every fucking city, every fucking province, every fucking town is a business. So it don't matter if, if, if McDonald's is paying you whatever they pay you. It, it's still going all, all the money you spend goes back to the system. Nigga, if you want to eat. You gotta give, you gotta go to them, nigga. You gotta go to them for the want of all things, nigga. I don't give a fuck what, because you don't own shit. You don't own shit. What do you own? What do you own? Do you own the factories that manufacture and distribute um 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 furniture? Because if you get a place, you gotta furnish your house. Right? You gotta furnish your house. Do you do you own these 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 fucking corporations that manufacture and distribute this shit? No. When you thirsty, when you thirsty, and you don't want to drink faucet water. You don't want to drink tap water, right? Do you do you do you own Deer Park water? Do you own Fiji water? No, the fuck you don't. So you gotta go to the store and go spend money with them to get water. You want shoes? You want the new Jordans? You gotta go to Shoe City. You don't own no Shoe City's Foot Locker, none of that shit. You gotta go to them. You need a T-shirt. You want a tank top. Right? You want to buy Under Armour. You want a pair of shades. You want some socks. Right? You need some gas for your car. What the, the fuck? Any, anything. Anything you can possibly think of, nigga. One of your kids put a hole in your wall. You need sheetrock. You got to go to them for every fucking thing. So they can pay you all the money in the world. You're going to give it back to them. You're going to give it back to them. You got to. You're forced to. You're subjugated to. You have no choice. You don't own shit. That's the never ending cycle. It comes from them to you and then back to them. So I didn't have no problem giving niggas stimulus money, stimulus checks or whatever the fuck. Cause you niggas was going to add it to the economy. I mean, yeah, I'm going to give you niggas three stacks or whatever, but guess what? You niggas are going to be forced to give it back to me because you need shit. You got to buy shit. Right. And even if we don't own the businesses you're spending your money with, we got to we tax them. So either way, we going to eat. It's a never ending fucking cycle. It's a never ending cycle, bro. A never ending cycle. You get what I'm saying? But you niggas got something to say about me because I expose it. You niggas just bitches. That's all you niggas is. You niggas be bitches who don't stand for nothing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What, what are you going to do? You ain't going to do nothing but this. That's all you niggas do. So you niggas talk, 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 talk. Talk. Do something. Do something. You might say, oh, all you doing is talking. <laughs> yeah, I am. But I'm willing to do something. Fuck is you geeking for? Fuck you talking about, bro? This shit is a fucking hamster wheel, bro. Shit is a hamster wheel. And that's all I got to say. It's big L's in this bitch, bro. Listen, bro, it's a peasy world, bro. It's a peasy world. Niggas better wake up or die in that sleep, bro. Fuck is you geeking for, man? Death to America. Fuck this world, nigga.